OK, then, for this part of the question, we've got to express 2 sine theta minus 1.5 cos theta, then, in the form r sine theta minus alpha. Now, whenever you get an expression of this type, that type being of the form a sine theta minus b cos theta, we should know that this is always going to be identical to r sine of theta minus alpha, where r is always the square root of a squared plus b squared, and alpha is equal to the inverse tan of your b value divided by your a value. As I say, this is a standard result that you should try and remember. And if you go on my website, you'll find that there's tutorials on expressing how we express and get these results for expressions like this. OK? So knowing this result, you can see that A is the 2. And you've got to be careful here. B is just the 1.5, not the minus. OK? The minus is already taken account of here. Just the b value is the 1.5. So if we put that down here that a is 2, b is 1.5, then we can see that by using that r is going to be the square root of a squared plus b squared. So in other words 2 squared plus 1.5 squared. And if you work this out on your calculator, you'll find it comes out to an exact value, 2.5. And as for alpha, alpha then is the inverse tan of b over a. So we'll write that in, inverse tan of b over a, so that's going to be 1.5 for b divided by a at 2. And Alpha, in this question, is given in radians, so make sure your calculator then is in radians mode, and then just do the inverse tan of this. And if you do that, you'll find you get 0 0.643501, and so on. Okay. And we're asked to give this to an accuracy of four decimal places, so that's going to be 0 0.6435. OK, radians, we can put the word radians in, or you could use the symbol little c there if you like, OK, as an alternative. And so that's to 4dp, OK?